Shanghai is China's major hub for finance and business, much the way Manhattan is for the U.S. And much like New York City, Shanghai has the look and feel of high finance. The financial district already has some impressive towers. Yet, there is a new tower, the Shanghai Tower, under construction, which when completed in 2014, will be the tallest building in China and the second tallest building in the world. This streamlined tower has an irregular shape, but underneath the flowing exterior is a solid geometric base. There is a stack of eight cylindrical shapes. Here is a cutaway view to reveal the eight cylinders. Notice that each succeeding cylinder is narrower than the one right below it. This is because the side of the tower is along a line that is two degrees from the vertical axis of the tower. A little more subtly, each cylinder increases in height from the one right below it. And the combination of both changes in dimension makes the tower look tall and sleek. Part of the reason that the tower is thinner at the top has to do with geography. This region of China experiences typhoons, which have very high winds. A building that is thinner at the top is less susceptible to the force of these winds. In fact, the outer layer of the tower swirls around the core of the tower in such a way as to decrease the force of the wind on the tower. Not only that, there are wind turbines located within the tower to use the power of wind to generate electricity. The Shanghai Tower is an example of green architecture. The swirling outer layer is also a collector of rainwater that is recycled for use in the air conditioning and heating systems. But the heart of the tower is the stack of cylinders, which is where office and living spaces will be housed. And going from one tier to the next, the width of the cylinder decreases by 8.2%, and its height increases by 4.1%. We can use these values to determine the volume, and therefore the weight of each section changes from one level to the next. Obviously, the heavier levels are at the bottom, but how much lighter do the succeeding tiers get? A cylinder is a three-dimensional figure with a circular base and a rectangular side. A net for a cylinder clearly shows the two circles that define the base and the top and the rectangular side. The surface area of the cylinder is made up of the individual areas of the circles and the rectangle. Suppose the circle has radius R. Since the top side of the rectangle wraps around the circle, then the rectangle's side length is the same as the circle's perimeter. The other side length of the rectangle corresponds to the height of the cylinder. So the surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi R squared plus 2 pi R H. The volume of the cylinder is pi r squared h. Let's use the variables r and h for the bottom cylindrical portion of the Shanghai Tower. Each succeeding cylinder decreases its width by 8.2% and increases its height by 4.1%. Since the diameter of the circular base decreases by 8.2%, this means that the radius decreases by half that amount, or 4.1%. So level two is pi r squared h times 1.041 times 0 0.959. For any tier i, the volume of that cylinder is found with this expression. The total volume of all the cylindrical sections is found using this expression. Let's use the DI Inspire to calculate this value. 